All right, episode 40 of the Pokemon Emerald casual playthrough. We are going to give the Elite Four a try at our love current level, current team, right after Victory Road. Not going to the move leader or anything right now. I will save that for if we cannot beat the Elite Four and I need to level grind because there's not really anything I would want to hard scale for um, moves right now. So let's go ahead and get right to it. Starting off with Dark type trainer, uh, Sydney. Yeah, I think that's his name. Force lead off with Hariyama. I stocked up on revives, stocked up on four restores. Leads off with Mighty and a level 46. Eight levels higher than my Hariyama. Gonna start off with a fake out, get chip damage off on it. And hope Vital Throw can KO from this range. Double Edge. Does about half, wow. And Vital Throw does not KO after the Intimidate. Hariyama uses Double Edge again. Double Edge should take out Mightyena. No, the recoil doesn't take out Mightyena. But Hariyama does go down. Going to switch in... Wampert here. Having my fighting type lose to the first Pokemon for the Dark type trainer is not a good omen. About to use Cacturn, switch into Altaria. Gonna use Fly, I was debating setting up a Dragon Dance. And Fly misses. Todd and Spore, I think that lowers speed, doesn't it? Yeah, speed harshly fell. Get hit by Leech Seed. And Fly misses again. 90% accurate move misses twice in a row. Yeah, my fighting type Pokemon not being able to take out Mightyena. And my 90% accurate move missing twice in a row. I think that shows how this Elite Four run is going to go. And Fly is not even going to two-shot. I think I'm going to go down to this faint attack anyway. Yep. I don't really have anything else to answer, Cacturn. Explode, I guess. Explode takes out Cacturn. Send out Shift Tree. Double team. Yep, that's what I was scared of with Shift Tree. That's why I wanted to confuse it right away.
Oh man, gets off a second double team. I'm not gonna beat the shift tree. Swagger, so at least I have plus one attack now. Oh, plus two attack. Nice, break through the confusion, hit through the double teams, plus two attack, still not a one shot, still be a two shot. Extra sensory, don't flinch, break through the confusion, and break through the double team. Oh my god, I snapped out of confusion, didn't flinch, and hit through the double teams. About setting crawled on, I'll stay in, I'm at plus two attack, might as well. All leaves with 7 HP. Now we're down to the last Pokemon, Absol. Rock Slide hits. Then in Swampert. Absolutely uses Swords Dance. Hopefully Surf can two-shot. No, it's not a two-shot. Flash. Luckily it wasn't a crit, Swampert hangs on. And Swampert KOs the Absol. Must have been a high roll that time or a low roll first time. We actually defeat Sydney on attempt number one with this severely underleveled team. Go ahead and heal up. Now on to the second Leap 4 member, which I think is Phoebe? It is Phoebe, the ghost type trainer. Gonna lead with my bayonet. Phoebe leads with Dusclops. Level 48. It uses Protect first turn, I should have expected that. Dusclops, here to PP stall, pressures the ability. Dusclops is bulky, so I'm not expecting Shadow Ball to one shot. But it's also not the most offensive Pokemon. Ooh, wow, Shadow Punch will still two shot. But Bayonet is able to take out Dusclops number one. Phoebe about to send in her own Bayonet. Her Bayonet's a higher level. It is level 49. It probably it does outspeed. Critical hit completely unnecessary. Our Bayonet goes down. I will switch. To... I'll switch to Altaria. And I'm going to set up a Dragon Dance.
use his grudge, that's fine. If it keeps using grudge, I'm just gonna keep setting up dragon dances. Hope Shadow Ball doesn't do too much. Alright, use Fly. I'm plus three attack. Critical hit, one shot's bayonet. Level 51 Dusclops. Dusclops is so bulky. It does have Rock Slide. And 90% accurate move misses. Altaria has missed 3 out of... 3 out of her flies. Why did I send an Explode? Explode can't do anything. Then in Swampert, the Pokemon that I actually meant to send out. Wow, that did nothing. That only did about a quarter damage. And Dusclops just continues to not hit itself in Infusion. Fifty fifty chance to hit itself and it broke through all four times. Eats its citrus berry. Snapped out of confusion. Confused for four turns but never hit itself. I have two Pokemon that can't do anything versus ghosts, and my Pokemon that's weak to ghosts left. Use Psychic, I doubt it'll kill from here. And Shadow Ball will probably one-shot it as 12 levels higher. Yep. Aram at least has knockoff. Yeah, it does absolutely nothing. Holy shit, critical hit, Shadow Ball almost one shot. Cloud literally has nothing to hit ghost types. This Dust Cops has been confused five turns and has yet to hit itself in confusion. Thank god it hit itself in confusion on the sixth turn. Dust or X Cloud up to level 42. Two Pokemon left though. Sableye and Bayonet number two still. My only hope is really good confusion luck. I think if we get hit by anything, we're done. If Altaria didn't miss the fly when it was plus three, I think we would have had a good shot of at least making it past four of the five Pokemon. Main attack, that'll probably take us out here. Yeah, I wasn't expecting to win at this level. 
I still think we could have made it farther had Altaria not missed three fucking flies. So yep, definitely need to level grind. Definitely, definitely need to level grind. That's gonna do it for this episode. Next episode I'm gonna show <clears throat> the method that I'm gonna use to level grind. And then after that, once we get into I'm ready to face the Elite Four again.